Welcome to another episode of Real Cooking and Baking with Chef Jasmine. Today, Chef Jasmine is baking a banana bread. And I have four large ripe bananas and it's one pound she ounces. And I'm gonna crush my banana with the this. And I'm gonna add two cups of sugar. And then I'm going to combine the sugar with the banana. There's two cups, so I just add a pound of sugar. I'm going to add three eggs. I'm gonna whisk each egg in the mixture. So I have sugar eggs and banana right now so i'm gonna save me three cups of sugar One cup. And three cups of sugar is pound and a half of sugar. Um, flour. Sorry, is three cups of flour is pound and a half of flour. For each cup is eight ounces, and sixteen ounces in one pound. So I have twenty-four ounces of flour. And I'm gonna. I just greater um i'm gonna right now this is baking soda and this is one teaspoon of baking soda and i need one tablespoon of baking powder And I'm just go see So I have baking soda and I have baking powder. I have um I just grate some nutmeg eggs and it's one teaspoon of nutmeg egg. 
and I have cinnamon and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a whole tablespoon of cinnamon and this is just guideline it's up to you whether you want less a cinnamon less not an egg more it's just a guideline of what I prefer for my um banana nuts bread and I'm just go mix everything together And you can see now I'm gonna add two ounces of oil and I'm using I'm using the mozzarella corn oil you can use vegetable oil you can use canola oil it's up to you what you want to do So as you can see, it's a it's an easy recipe. You just have to have everything in place. Make sure you have everything in place. And this, I'm using around two ounces of milk, and this is two percent milk. In baking, it's best to add your li liquid in a small amount. Don't add everything at once. I find it to taste better when it's finished than when you add everything at once. Even in cooking, you just add small amount of water to your meat all the time. Just it's same as in baking just add your whatever you're using just add small amount all the time until it's finished and in, in that way you can know whether you want to use everything or you want to cook but depends on how liquid your butter is or how thick it is but right now everything looking good So I'm gonna add me now a teaspoon. I'm, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. You can use any vanilla you want. It's no matter. And you see how the banana bread butter looking good. So I'm finished with the waist now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save a little bit of flour 
and that's wrong like about um a tablespoon of flour and i'm gonna add like around about i'm gonna use about half cup of raisin and the, and i'm coating the raisin because the reason i'm coating the raisin i don't want the raisin to sink in the loaf pan i want it to go through and through the banana nut bread you don't have to use raisin you can use nuts if you want nuts but i love raisin so that's why i'm using raisin i love a lot of raisin so that's why i'm i want the raise i want like everybody to have raisin but you don't have to do it it's just my own preference but if you're using raisin that's how you go use it you go have to coat your raisin in some flour and you don't need a lot of flour to coat your raisin You can even see above the excess flour and I'm going to change from waste. As you see, I change from waste and I'm just going to fold the raisin in the butter. Now I already have two loaf pan prepared, so I'm just going to pour pour the butter in the loaf pan I already have my oven set as 365 degree Fahrenheit so preheat your oven to 365 Fahrenheit or it depends on where you are to the temperature is like different we depends on where you live Some oven might have to go higher and some oven you can do lower. So I get me, this is going to be two banana nut bread when I finish. And I'm going to bake this for like, um, I'm going to check it 45 minutes in. I'm going to check it because it's always best. It's always best to check your baking before because you can take away from baking. You you cannot add to baking. You can add to baking, but you cannot take away. Sorry. You can always add more time to your baking, but if it's overdone, it's there's nothing you can do. So it's best to check your baking under. So I'm gonna. This is supposed to take like about 45 minutes or an hour, but I'm gonna make sure I check it within 45 minutes at 365. And it all depends on where you live and for it to, what I'm gonna do when it's settled in the loaf pan, I always um, put some raisin and top just for when it's baked it look yummy see it i always do that now and i do not count the raisin that i coat it with flour i put on top i just want this to show up the raisin to bright and pretty and show up. so remember remember now to share my videos and subscribe to real cooking and baking with chef jasmine
something a banana bread is finished after around 45 minutes in the oven it's finished and you see how it look pretty so now what i'm gonna do with my banana bread i have two teaspoon of brown sugar in here i'm just gonna add a tablespoon of water and mix it so this is my glaze for the banana bread and it's just a little mixture of brown sugar and water and i'm just gonna glaze it me while it's hot As you see people eat with their eyes, so I'm gonna glaze it. I'm gonna wait for around five minutes before I dump it out the pan. After I dump it, I'm gonna slice it and I'll show you the finished product after I slice it. My banana nut bread is finished and cool, so I'm ready to cut. So I already start slicing and see how it look banana nut bread from scratch. And you can see that the raisin is true and true the banana nut bread. You can have this for breakfast or lunch. And you can reduce the recipe if you want to. You can double the recipe, reduce it. It's all up to how, what's the amount of banana nut you want. So, and you just go like um try to design it if you like try to make your design like it's still warm so it's it's intent for if you want to break because it's still warm But you can make your a, like a lovely dessert plate, banana nut bread display. You can decorate it with strawberry fruits. But when I'm gonna decorate it, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna use some powdered sugar and I'm just gonna sieve some powdered sugar. over the banana nut bread. Always make your stuff looks pretty. Remember people eat with eyes. So always make your stuff pretty. So I have my banana nut bread and I'm gonna taste I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have that for display. And this is the same, I don't want to mess this plate up. And this is the same recipe I have in this, in this um, other pan because remember I get two loaf of banana bread from this, from the amount of butter I make. I get two loaf of banana bread. So I just gonna taste it like you see. Mmm, so good. Mm -mm. So nice. There you go. 
Yummy banana bread from scratch.